Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jerry Roman and this is my first video from Dalat, Vietnam, where I'll be for the rest of September. Energy stocks can be hot and cold, but when they're hot, they can move as quickly as any tech stock. And energy is a popular sector to trade when oil prices skyrocket or geopolitical tensions ratchet up as prices can become highly volatile. The world, and specifically Europe, are in the middle of an energy crisis. Uncertainty over the flow of natural gas owing to Russia's war in Ukraine has caused a spike in prices. The price of natural gas has soared to as much as $500 per barrel of oil equivalent, 10 times the normal average, fueling fears of winter shortages and cold homes. And with Russia keeping a pipeline shut, the energy crisis is getting even worse in Europe. Ask yourself this question. If Russia wants to play games, when is the best time for Russia to leverage their position as an energy supplier for Europe? The answer is in the dead of winter when people in countries are reliant on their oil and gas. If Russia plays these types of games, I expect energy prices and stocks will skyrocket. We've been playing oil and energy stocks all year and with the worldwide energy crisis getting worse and winter approaching, I'm still in my energy stocks and I plan on buying more. So today we're going to look at the top energy stocks and narrow it down to the top three for September. But before we jump into our top stocks, please subscribe, share, and help this video get over 500 likes while we take a look at a few of our winning trades. We're now in my Discord on the left-hand side. You can see a lot of our channels here, and then we're looking at our winning trades. So our first one today is from Mark as Piazu. First time posting here, so I checked my greed at the door and was happy. Cap to put on the triple Q at market open for a $36 profit. Can we do this every day? And here's the put that he bought and sold. Did it very quickly. Well done, and congratulations on your first success. Ben made 33% on an overnight swing on SSRM calls. Thanks, Air Tractor, for the tip. Another one. One well done. We've got Jado made a quick $48 on NVDA spread, expired 9-6, hoping NVIDIA ends up at least over $140 for my other contract. We've got Tarzan 160, sold NET for a 5.01% gain. We've got Two Bag Tony, Tesla put credit spread, walked away with a 50% profit in one day. Well done. And then we've got Yvonne, my first MOS put expired for 100% gains and CC on S triple Q as well. And then we've got Yvonne, my first MOS put expired for 100% gains on CC and S triple Q as well. I'm glad I finally did this. These seem like small gains individually, but over time add up if bought correctly. These were just two day expirations. So well done Yvonne, you're well on your way. The reason we are so successful in my Discord is because we know how to play the market and stocks regardless of whether they're going up or down. If you want all of our trading alerts and help from our awesome community, then join us in Discord. All right, now's the time to sit back, grab a huge cup of coffee, and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. All right, here are the stocks that we're covering today. We've got Occidental Petroleum, ticker OXY, Hess Corporation, HES, Coterra Energy, CTRA, Devon Energy Corporation, DVN, Marathon Petroleum, MPC, and the big one, ExxonMobil, XOM. We can see the industry, they're all in oil and gas. The sector, all energy. We can see which exchange they're traded on, all the New York exchange. And then we can come down and look at their PE ratio. Our lowest on the day is going to be Oxy coming in at 5.8. Our highest on the day is Hess Corporation coming in at 25.6. And everybody else is in between six and about 10.2. The beast mode analysis is broken down into sections. Our first one here is the income statement, and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. Everything is color coded. We've got my most important in light blue, second most important is light green. We also have a cheat sheet where we have an up or down arrow depending on what we're looking for. And if you need to know what anything means, all you do is hover over the little eye, a pop up comes up and tells you exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to start off with a net income margin. Our winner on the day is Coterra Energy. These guys are exceptional exceptionally strong at 33.57%, followed by Devon Energy at 23.04%, and everybody else is right around that 8%. Next, let's scroll on down to our balance sheet, and this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable. Here I like to look at what I call the tattle ratio, and this compares the total assets to the total liabilities. We always want it to be over one, which means they've got more assets than liabilities, and over two is ideal. So our winner on the day is going to be Coterra Energy at 2.44, coming in at number two, ExxonMobil 2.08, number three, Devon Energy at 1.81, followed by Marathon 
Marathon Petroleum and then Hess Corporation and Oxy at 1.37. Next up, we have the key performance metrics. These are all very insightful to the company's overall condition. You'll notice everything here is highlighted in blue, and that's because I think they're all important. So our first one is the revenue growth last year. Devon Energy was the winner at 152.81%, Coterra Energy at 13526 and all of these companies with the worldwide energy shortage have had great revenue growth. The free cash flow margin, this is very important, and this tells us that the company has the ability to pay all of their bills with just the money they've got coming in from their revenues and grow the business. Our strongest one on the day here is Devon Energy, again at 40.63%. Our weakest on the day is going to be Marathon Petroleum. They're pretty weak over here at 2.41%. Up next, we've got the Rule of 40 indicator. We love for this to be above 40, and that can be for a growth company. So for a well-established company like these guys to have this sort of a Rule of 40 indicator is really exceptional. It's not going to last forever, but while it does, it's a great thing. Our winner here again is Devon Energy coming in at 193.44%. Number two, Coterra Energy at 162.48%, and everybody else coming in right around that 70% number. Then we've got my FNR indicator, and if we need to know what that is, we hover over it and it tells us we're summing up the free cash flow, the net income margin, and the revenue growth over the last 12 months. The higher that number, the better. This is not an exact science, but it's a quick way to look at the overall condition for that company. And again, we've got Devon Energy at 216.48, followed by Coterra Energy at 196. The management effectiveness, this tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. And the two things I like to look at are the return on equity. Our clear winner here is Devon Energy at 45.3%. And we love to see black and blue and no red. And Devon Energy is just owning this entire section. And the second one I like to look at is the 5R indicator. This simply sums up all of our different return ons. The higher that number, the better. Again, the winner is DVN. Our number two on the day looks like it's going to be MPC at 67.9%. Number three is going to be Coterra Energy at 67.7%. And our last section is the growth metrics. Companies should be consistently growing their businesses. Again, these guys with the worldwide energy crisis have been on a tear. This isn't going to last forever, but if you think it's going to last through this winter, these are definitely companies that you want to consider. Our net income growth over the last 12 months, our winner here was Coterra Energy, 476%. Number two was Devon Energy at 205%. Number three was X Number three was ExxonMobil coming in at 202.7%. Number four, Marathon Petroleum Corporation at 199.1, followed by Hess Corporation at 118.1. And then we've got Warren Buffett's Oxy Petroleum bringing up the rear on this one at 115.7. But still, that is a phenomenal net growth number for all of these companies. We're now in Think or Swim, and let's take a quick look at the charts. Our first one here is Occidental Petroleum. Looking at our percent change bar, we can see in one week they're down 6.5%. In one month, they're up 19.7%. Over six months, they're up a total of 22%. In one year, 159%. If we come over, we can see the revenue growth forecast is very strong at 42.2%. And we can see they went up too much too fast. They dropped down here to the 20-day moving average. And if we come down and look at our momentum indicator, we can see we're currently red and we generally don't like to buy whenever we're red on red because nothing good happens. So right now I'm personally waiting before I add more to my position and I'll be waiting for us to go green on green and hopefully pick up a buy signal. We're now looking at Hess Corporation. We can see in the last one month, they're up 21.1%. Over six months, 20%. In one year, 70%. Looking at the chart, we can see a couple months ago, they hit a high of 131.44, and that would be our next level of resistance. So I'll either be waiting for a green on green buy signal or a close above previous resistance would also be a bullish indicator. Coterra Energy has a few good things going for it. They do pay an 8.6% dividend yield, which is nice. Again, their strong income margin is great. And here's their revenue growth forecast, 134.2%. Looking at the chart, they had a huge run up. They took a pretty hard crash down here, and then they've been going steadily up right now. And what we're looking for here from technical analysis is we want higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And that looks like what's forming. So we'd love to see them close over 32. 
Devon Energy, over the last six months, they're up 18%. Over one year, 140%. We can see a couple of months ago, they had a high of 79.4. This will be resistance, so we'd like to see them close over that to continue the bull run, or we wanna wait for these indicators to go green on green. We can also see they pay a 7.2% dividend yield, and they've got a strong energy growth for it and they've got a strong revenue growth forecast of 57.5%. And if you wanna grab my indicators, there's a link in the description down below. All right, looking at Marathon Petroleum, we've got a similar chart. They pay a 2.3% dividend yield, revenue growth forecast of 43.5%. And last but not least, we've got ExxonMobil. In the last year, they're up 74%. They pay a 3.7% dividend yield, and they've got a revenue growth forecast of 53.6%. Now, if you are looking to buy, you can consider using my risk management bar at the top. It does all of the math for us, and let's assume we've got a $25,000 account. We don't wanna risk more than 5% of our accounts. So we wouldn't wanna spend more than $1,250 on this stock. And then it asks what I call the golden question. Will I risk $96 and buy 13 shares for one $1,243. And if you're wondering where that $96 of risk comes in, that's because we're recommending a trail stop of 8% and it determines that based on the average true range of the stock. So it does everything, works out all the math for you. And this is something fun that I use. And if you do use Thinkorswim, you can use this on your actual account or you can set it up for any account size that you want. It's a real handy tool. After looking at the fundamentals and technicals, my top three stocks from today are number three, Occidental Petroleum. Even with the 121% gain in stock price this year, Oxy still has the lowest PE ratio and the third highest net income margin. Plus, as a wild card, we have Warren Buffett buying a lot of Oxy and keeping it in the headlines. Number two is Devon Energy. We banked a lot of profits with DVN this year and their fundamentals and growth are solid. And number one is Coterra Energy. They have the strong Longest revenue growth forecast and the highest net income margin. While these are my top picks from today, I'm still in a lot of other energy stocks and we can expect the entire sector to move up and down together. As always, I want to caution everyone that energy stocks are volatile and can be a roller coaster ride with lots of ups and downs. So if you're okay with the volatility, then consider these stocks and just remember to not be greedy and lock profits sooner rather than later. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, and I know you did because you're still here, then please give me some YouTube love with a subscribe, like, and share. I really appreciate that and it helps my channel more than you know. And if you'd like all of my trade alerts, indicators, free stocks, and free crypto, check out the links down below. As you can see, I put a lot of work on my option plays and getting the alerts to know what I'm buying and selling makes life much easier. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.